God, I'm tired. And the light just burned out. I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Fumpfest! Ooh, that one was booming. I like that. Hello. Fump! Fump! Fumpfest is back! And this time, we're teaming up with Con on the Cob. Con on the Cob! Con on the Cob is taking place October 5th through 8th in Richfield, Ohio, and Fumpfest will be a part of it. This year's performers include Bonnie Gordon, Jeff Whitmire, Ross Childs, Insane Ian. There's plenty of room in the dungeon, Castlevania. Steve Goody, The Great Luke Ski, Toby Danger, and Worm Quartet. This is a song, it's a song I wrote so I could sing it with TV's Kyle, but TV's Kyle isn't at Funk Fest, so I can't perform this song. Okay. And our 2023 guest of honor, Ogden Edsel. Dead puppies aren't much fun. Funk Fest is a full weekend of comedy music and related weirdness, including the Logan Whitehurst Memorial Awards for Excellence in Comedy Music, dumb parody ideas, live podcast recordings, and more. Plus, all of the games, art, freaks, and fun that come with Con on the Cob. Fun Fest, now with Blackjack and Hookers. Yeah, that's right, baby. For information and to register, visit FumpFest.com. That's F-U-M-P-F-E-S-T dot com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane and I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what as this is, and that's why you're here, and I stumbled a little bit, and I don't care because I'm tired. It's late at night, I forgot to do this, and now I'm doing it. So here we go. Uh, anyway, this week I'm reacting to two songs that are seemingly related. Uh, that was a happy accident. Uh, we're reacting to Perception Check by Tom Carty, and It Must Have Been the Wind by the Chalk Eaters. Two songs that have been uh, slightly requested from some people. Um, if this is your first time here, yes, I am a comedy musician. Uh, I react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does that themselves. What this means to you is that I'm going to be pausing the videos. Kind of often, actually. Uh, this way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes that are there, and also so that I can help, you know, discuss what's going on in the song, either uh, how the video works in complement to the lyrics, or uh, how the, the jokes are played out, sometimes explaining the jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes it's just me sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but it's a good time either way, I think. If uh, you like this sort of material, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that said, uh, let's dive into these videos. Uh, Perception Check is a new Tom Carty song. Um, obviously about D&D type stuff, and It Must Have Been the Wind is a Skyrim song. Both RPG-style things. Occasionally, I do songs that uh, are themed together. Um, this was just a happy accident that it worked out this week. Uh, last week we had the Storm songs, songs that Ale Storm did a song, and there was a song called Jort Storm. You, you can go see it. You, it's how videos work. They're up there, and you see them. I'm tired, y'all. It's been a week. Um, anyway, let's dive in. Ah, it's preemptive funness, isn't it? It's good times. On the horizon of this forest path, you see a group of dark cloaked figures slowly trudging towards you. What do you do? My half-orc barbarian braces her great hammer, and that's a one critical fail. <laughs> Steve, what do you do? Well, I believe in anticipation, my rogue would try and hide behind a tree. Okay, I rolled a one. That's another critical fail. Tom, what does your human bard do? Active perception check. It's a natural 20. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right, it's already amazing just because it's Tom Carty. 
uh, that flute spin, like that's just that's just showing off. That's just a flex for no reason. Um, he is a bard, obviously, um, but yeah, everybody else rolling a, a natural one and him rolling a nat twenty on a perception check to figure out what's going on with everything, uh, and then making a song about it like a bard would. It's great. I I love that. <laughs> Me and my boys are gonna mess you up. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Okay, that's not happening. All right. <laughs> oh, that's good. My boys gonna mess you up. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Fuck. My boys are otherwise engaged, so I'm gonna bring it on myself. Hey, I forgot. You're supposed to tell me what I see, right? Yes. Thank you. Let's just slow it all down. <laughs> So you notice that one of the hooded figures is a little shorter. I cast vicious mockery. Not twenty. Let's go. You're a shot, motherfucker. <laughs> I cast vicious mockery. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. It's good stuff. This is what I mean by sometimes I just sit back and laugh because, man, it's funny. Uh, that whole diatribe uh, about what the doctor said and I ending with and I hate it. Just so funny. So good. Yeah, just all of that. J uh, 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 wow, it's so good. It's so good. Your attack lands and absolutely shatters the mind of the clip. <laughs> Your perception check, please. Not twenty. Let's go. You perceive the figure was so short because it was a child. There's always a kid, specifically the child you've been looking for for the last fifteen days. Game time and five days of our actual lives. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know I'll be better. His body's just lying there, right? Right? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> You could see the anticipational dread on the DM's face. That body's just lying there, right? Don't. You could see he's saying don't without saying don't. You can see him just don't, don't do it. And goes and, and does what he doesn't want him to do. So, so good. We've... We've all played with players like this. Sometimes we are the players like this. Amazing. Amazing. I'm rolling it back even further. I'm there, right? <laughs> yes. Don't. He actually does say don't. I didn't realize. Uh, also, apologies for the light in this uh, particular episode, my light burnt out literally just before I started filming, and I was like, I'm too tired to charge the battery in it. We're just going without it. Sorry. Oh my goodness, and then it just ends there. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Uh, it makes me think that there may be a possibly longer version of this song sometime later down the road, possibly an album version. Uh, holy crap. Play my flute while I loot that body. Amazing. And just the absolute defeat on the DM character's face. Genius. Love that. 
Um, of course, if you want to see these videos without me yammering all over them, links are in the description, of course, so you can check them out yourself. Please go show Tom Cardi some love, and of course, show the Chalk Eaters some love. Their video is next. This is for Must Have Been the Wind, the Skyrim Guard song by the Chalk Eaters feeding, featuring Black Griffin. Uh, we've had Black Griffin uh, singing Chalk Eaters songs before, and here's another one. Um, Skyrim Guard song, I have a feeling we're going to get an arrow to the knee joke somewhere in here. I mean, it wouldn't be a Skyrim song without it. So, uh, let's dive into this. It must have been the wind It cast a wicked dream There's double captions on this, so we're gonna turn off one of them. A spear pierced my shield An arrow hit my chin Ouch! It must have been the wind <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Now I'm realizing that. Uh, yeah, so like, if you, uh, if you're being stealthy in the game, uh, and you, you, you're like trying to sneak up on a guard and you're firing at them and you miss, or you hit them, they're suddenly alerted to your presence, but you hide. You hide from them, and they don't find you when you're hiding. Their response was, oh, must have been the wind. Like, I've been shot by an arrow in the chin, apparently. Uh, that must have been the wind. There's no one here. I haven't found anyone. So clearly, no one's hiding. Character AI, babies. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> also, that whole intro thing there, uh, made it seem like it was a... TV series? I just like the way the credits were there. That's good. I don't see any sea. I see mountains. Oh, uh, and also there's smoke. <laughs> How do you show a character who's wearing a helmet is smiling? You make the eye slits look like uh, your eyes would if you were if you were grinning. Uh, that is hilarious and awesome. Uh, I like I like this tune. It's very rocking. I uh, wasn't expecting it to be so. It's like it's it's almost metal, but not. But it's it's more melodic metal. Um, I'm digging it. I I, I dig the tune. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he avoids getting hit by picking up a coin, and <laughs> the guy just chopped off the hands of his own fellow guardsman attacker thing. Uh, I couldn't think of the word. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> extremely goofy. Oh, close for a dock. <laughs> Just, in, you know, the guy's randomly attacking your town with a full forced fusroda, and uh, the guards throw them in jail, because that's a thing that, that happens. Good lord. It's so ridiculously silly. Like, the guard is just so completely oblivious to actual things happening. Um, and obviously that's the conceit of the song. Like I said, guys, I'm tired. Uh, the, it's, I'm just digging it. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoops, there, there goes the fire. <laughs> okay, he's saved by someone with a guitar. There's a guitar solo clearly being keyed up here. Uh, but his just general oblivionness, obliviousness as he just happily, jauntily marches through the town uh, as dragons are soaring and things are on fire and they're being attacked by other guards and oh boy just excellent there two guitars Oh, the sweet rolls. Oh. I did a song about Skyrim. Uh. Wow. At least ten years ago. Uh. <laughs> which lets you know how long Skyrim has been around. Not just Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls has been around for many years. But just Skyrim. They did it like a 15th anniversary edition of that game recently, didn't they? Something like that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I did, I did a song about Skyrim myself a while ago, so you, you, you remember, like, all the tropes from the games, the sweet rolls is one of them, I didn't have a thing about the sweet rolls in my song, but I had to think about the wheels of cheese, because things get memed about games if they've been around for a while, and they, you know, this was, Skyrim was a, was a, X, was a PS3 and Xbox 360 game, and then it was on PS4 and Xbox One, and then they just did a, an anniversary edition for PS5 and and Xbox Series X, like that game and Grand Theft Auto V have just like lasted so long through generations of systems. It's amazing uh, the the longevity of some of these series, uh, and some of these just like single title in in a series. Don't know why I'm rambling about that. It's whatever. They were like almost setting up for an arrow to the knee rhyme there. I never was an adventurer. Well, you know, I was an adventurer and took an arrow to the knee is the line, but I never was an adventurer. I'd warm up to it eventually. Eventually, to the knee. It rhymes. I was waiting for it. Anticipation. And maybe maybe that was on purpose. Maybe they were trying to purposely skirt that expectation. I, I don't know, but uh, it was just the way I thought about it. it was things. A quiet Nord, essentially. Got the line wrong, sorry. I like I like the merchant at the bottom is is selling copies of Skyrim. I thought they were selling their CDs, but no, it's it's just selling copies of Skyrim, the game. Uh hilarious. They're all maimed. All the guards. It was my imagination. You're missing limbs, dude. You've got an arrow in your eye. Your imagination is weird and painful. Oh, there's... That's, that's Black Griffin's character from uh, one of the other videos. I cannot remember which. Uh, but one of the other Chalk Eaters videos. We've checked them out before. I don't know if I have a playlist for them yet. Um, but there probably will be one by the end of this video. We'll see. Whatever. Hey, hey, 
It's it's the rallying cry of guards everywhere in every part of the lands of Skyrim. It brings them together. It stops them from fighting. They all realize, no, uh, no battle. It's no no enemy. It must have been the wind. Why would we fight? It's a rallying cry of unification. You gotta love it. <laughs> and the townspeople are like, what the hell is actually going on here? <laughs> the Dragonborn is dancing. <laughs> ah, and he's the one playing the game. That's a PS5 controller. Oh, this is definitely going to be a hit. Professor? Hmm? You're fully recovered. Well, finally! Try to play less of these addictive games, all right? You're free, but you'll remain under our... Oh, Professor Chalk, that's the character. That was in one of the other songs I, I reacted to recently. New Doctor's Observation. Okay. I'm not sure what this is referencing. Can't see the whole costume. Uh, Professor Chalk will return. An Avengers-style end credits scene. Excellent. Uh, that was magnificent. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. Uh, if you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. Of course, the videos I just reacted to are linked in the description so you can see them without me yammering all over them. If you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon like these people over here do, where you get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody. Remember, comedy is funny, and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I've got original Clue, cause the game is iconic But with updated suspects, just to be ironic I've got Clue Dice and the one that discards Or an escape room Clue, but it isn't too hard I've got the Liar's Clue and the biggest parody Some video game versions I can play on my screen 24 imposters cause I like those properties And this got the one's Clue, cause I get the charities Of course I have the movie and the documentary too And this is for everyone who says I don't have a clue